unprofessional, inconsistent, and demoralizing. Avoid if you can. A lot of drama going on in my rate, my professor ratings. It's particularly about a class that I taught last year, and there is a lot of very different opinions. So let me show you what's going on. For context, this is about a class I taught last semester, which is an introduction to proofs and mathematical logic. This is one of the most recent ones, really good professor, really prepared, very responsive to emails and feedback. Uh, we'll definitely take a class with him again. Let's see others. Completely different opinion, 1.0 quality, difficulty 5.0, don't take his courses, unreliable teaching, unreliable, very harsh grading, and uh, very little feedback. Here goes the pendulum swinging completely the other way. Really good professor, pay attention in class, but take his courses if you can. Now here's one of my favorites. Taking this class with this professor was a nightmare. Uh, he assigns too many problems, grades too few of them, and after the second midterm, he read the RMP reviews aloud, calling them lies, unprofessional, inconsistent, and demoralizing. Avoid if you can. And I did do that. I did read the RMP reviews out loud that were already an RMP uh, because I wanted to use that as constructive criticism and also to give them feedback and to give them ideas of how to make things better. But uh, some of the reviews had things like exam average grades in the 50s with no curve. And that was just a straight up lie. Uh, the first midterm, the average was an 84.7 out of 100. The second midterm was a 68.7 out of 100. And the final was an 82.8% out of 100. So, yes, it was a lie. But I, I like the last line. He's a smart professor, clearly, but shouldn't be within 10 feet of a class with intro in the title. This is another one that I did read out loud in class because this person said he also gives work that he would give his graduate level students to struggle on and then grades it super harshly when we mess it up. Graduate student level homework? Absolutely not. It was, that's, I don't know where that's coming from, but that is just not true. Anyway, my main point when I read those reviews out loud was about the feedback, that I was dying to give them more feedback if they told me what they were struggling with. There is this responsibility that students must take in that they need to be in charge of their own learning. So I want the students to tell me what they are struggling with. So for example, my office hours, there were a couple of students that were coming, but I had like 25 students. I barely received email messages with questions or with questions about problems. I offered to make videos or write complete solutions with of any problem they had struggled with. No one took me up on that except like maybe once one student. So I was willing and I was begging them to ask me to do more work for them, but I need to know what you are struggling with and your professors need to know what you are struggling with so we can do a better job at personalizing the learning. Otherwise, just go to Khan Academy and watch a video there. And some of the reviews do reflect exactly that. Always answers questions, willingness to go back and review past material, and it's super helpful during office hours. But very few of you came to office hours so I could help you in person.